Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on this video, which is an apartment tour of a co-live apartment that I had a shoot in last week. And while I was there, I was literally just thinking to myself, I really want to share just with you guys, just so that you can have a bit of an insight into what apartments are like, because honestly, this is what I was doing when I was moving to Dubai. So yeah, enjoy the video. I'm not gonna chat on here for too long. I just wanted to give a bit of context. Um, I didn't stay here. I was just using it for a photo shoot. Anyway, enjoy the tour. So this is a bit of a sneak peek into the kind of content that I was shooting in this apartment. Um, I'm a social media manager, so we were doing lifestyle content for uh, a brand called CoLife. Now CoLife have apartments in Dubai um, and they have so many listings in Dubai Marina. Dubai Marina is where I used to live. I lived there for, wait, how many years did I live there? Three years, I think. Um, I'm now in JVC. I think they have some apartments in JVC as well. They actually have apartments all around Dubai. And if you want to scroll and have a little look, this video is not sponsored by the way I'm just thinking it's helpful for you guys um, because it's good for short term if you are just moving and you've not got anything set up and you're just looking for like a super easy everything is there for you you know like you don't need to worry about all the bills and just any leasing or anything it's just so so simple and they give you a monthly price I think this is a good option for you because when I first moved to Dubai I was staying in a hotel which wasn't awful but no, actually it was quite awful <laughs> because you just don't have any amenities, you know, you don't have like a kitchen even to, um, you know, make yourself breakfast in the morning. At these co-life apartments, they are fully equipped um, with all kitchens, like appliances and everything, even a Nespresso coffee machine, which I thought was a nice touch. Um, and it's all just ready to go for you. Um, they even put in like cleaning supplies and just stuff that you wouldn't even think about from holiday rentals. Anyway, so let's get into the tour. The apartment that we're viewing is in Princess Tower and it's a two bedroom apartment. So this is the first bedroom. Annoyingly, I didn't get content of the second bedroom, but it is literally identical to this. Um, it's so, so similar. So just so you get an understanding of where this apartment is in relation to Dubai, we've got views of Palm Jumeirah and Dubai Harbour right out of the window, which I think is lovely that this apartment is facing this way. The thing with Princess Tower is some of the apartments can be quite dark. So I was quite impressed with this one. It really changed my perception of Princess Tower because it's quite an old tower, to be honest. You'll see when we get into the bathrooms, it's quite old. Um, but this one's quite light. It feels light and airy. You have got lovely views and there's a balcony as well. So they've put blackout shades so that the light won't bother you too early in the morning. This has actually, I was filming this in the afternoon. Um, so the apartment got brighter throughout the day. And you can see they've kind of styled it with some modern furniture that's quite appealing. Um, Wait, where are we going now? Oh yeah, I'm showing you the bathroom now. Okay, so this is what I was mentioning before. You can see even from the door frame, like it's quite dated and then it's got um, quite a dated bathroom, but this is very common in marina buildings, to be honest. I would not be surprised if most of the apartments that you guys are viewing are looking like this if they're in marina. Not to say it's a bad thing, like for me, I don't think it's a deal breaker because it's quite a good price and the location is really really good but yeah i think if you're looking at dubai marina apartments you can expect some of the kitchens and bathrooms to be quite dated compared to what you might find in jvc for example which is where i live now anyway so this is the main living space um when you enter you've got a little bathroom immediate immediately to your left side um, it does have a shower in so this one is um as you can see it's again it's quite dated um, and then it's got an ensuite. The other bedroom actually doesn't have an ensuite. That's the only difference between it. It's just this little bathroom outside. Um, you can see me in the mirror there. <laughs> anyway, so then when you step out of the bathroom, that's the front door there, like I said. You can see the bedrooms through there. And then this is the what the living area looks like. I think they did a really nice job on furnishing this place. It looked modern. Um, I like this sofa a lot. It reminds me of the sofa that we just bought for my JVC apartment. Um, I think one of the best things about this apartment is the views. And I think if you're in, if you're coming in winter and you're gonna be staying here in winter, you would actually use this balcony a lot. But you can even see the Ain Dubai wheel. Directly in front of you, you've got Dubai Harbour. Um, you've got the new W Hotel. That's that white building right there. They've put out some balcony furniture as well. Honestly, in this heat, I'm filming this in June and 
feel like this would not get used, to be honest. Um, nobody's gonna be sitting out on the balcony in June or in the summer months. But in the winter, I do think this is lovely. I had a friend that lived in one of these, a building right next door to this princess tower called Ocean Heights, which is a lovely building, by the way. And it had the same view and they use their balcony all the time. So yeah, I think just bear in mind um, where your balcony is facing because you might not get to use it. Okay, this clip that I've put in is Dubai Harbour a little while ago, like a few years ago, and this is it more recently as they're building the Imar beachfront, and then this is it now. So you can see how much development is going on in this area, like it is crazy, and I am so excited to see all of Dubai Harbour when it's finished, it is absolutely lovely. Um, so yeah, I think this is just a really, really good location. You can go on walks, you know, right by the marina, right by the harbour, feel really safe. Um, Anyway, so back into the apartment. This is back to the living area now. Um, they put in a TV and they put in um, like a little speaker as well, which I thought was quite cute. Um, there's Wi-Fi, so you don't need to worry about like setting up the aircon, setting up the Wi-Fi or just anything like that. It is literally all done. And it's, in, and it's quite stylish. Like I thought this little dining set is quite stylish. Um, yeah, all glassware, plates and everything. It's all just ready to go. Here's me in the mirror, hi guys. Um, the kitchen's quite dated as well, as you can see, but you know, it does the job. Like they've put everything you need in it, toaster, kettle, coffee machine, washing machine, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so I just think it's, it's convenient. It isn't the most modern kitchen, but it's not so bad. And we're back with a little bit more content that I was shooting from that day. Um, I just want to show you some footage of the local area as well. So this is the, literally a really short walk and this is, can be your view. All those tall buildings there, that's where Princess Tower is. So it's so nice to walk around Dubai Harbour. I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, it's a bit hot right now. Um, but yeah, exploring Dubai Marina is so much fun. If you're interested in Dubai content, then definitely subscribe to my channel. My name is Mabel and I'm doing Dubai vlogs, life in Dubai vlogs. I'm doing helping you to move to Dubai, business setup, you know, everything like that. So if you're thinking of moving to Dubai or you're, you are moving to Dubai or you've just moved maybe, I think you'll really find a lot of value in my channel. And you might also want to check out my TikTok and Instagram pages as well. Um, Cause I'm always posting about things to do in Dubai, fun stuff to do in Dubai. Um, and just what me and my friends are getting up to as British expats living in Dubai and I hope that you really enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. I'm gonna leave um, some links in the description for you that you might find helpful and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.